Hello, everyone. I'm Dong Yao, a master's student from Zhejiang University. My supervisor is Professor Zhou Zhao. Welcome to my talk about our paper. Recently, researchers in the acoustic signal processing field leveraged the contrastive learning for better music representation. However, learning high quality music representation confronts several challenges. The first one is the labeled music date is scarce and acquiring labeled date is costly and time consuming. Second, not all frames impact the music positively. For example, we can see the spectrogram of music. The onset of the track may be silent or directly missing, resulting in the absence of valid content of these of these starting frames. In order to adjust the above challenge, we propose to mask some crucial and inessential parts of music so that the inessential parts will be limited and the critical parts will be boosted when learning music representation. Our proposed architecture is consist of an asymmetrical positive and negative mask generation module, a contrastive learning module, and a predicting module. For mass, for mass generation module, we first randomly select two fragments from the same music, from the same music raw, raw waveform. After applying several augmentation approaches, we get their log mirror spectrogram produced by stacking many frames. Before inputting them into the transforming encoder, we add a CLS token factor in, a fr in front of their frame sequences to contain the information of all frames within a sequence after being encoded by the transforming encoder. We then use them to calculate the, the attention score for one of, for one of a frame sequence. sequence. The attention scores will be used to select a certain percentage of frames to be masked. We select the positions of frames with high scores to compose positive mask and the remainder post positions to compose negative mask. The positive mask and uh, the negative mask is to generate the augmented positive frame sequence and uh, the counterfactual negative frame sequence. Then they are encoded and projected as the augmented positive representation and uh, the counterfactual negative representation. For contrastive learning module, we use Barlow twins laws to optimize the distance between positive pairs. Besides, we design a loss function for optimizing the negative pairs. Before generating masks, we should learn the correlation of each frame to the input music for more accurate masks. We use a random masking strategy in the input before feeding it to the transforming encoder. We then use a predicting layer to recover, to recover the masked positions from the output of the transforming encoder, obtaining a predicting loss. For experiments, we evaluate the learned representation in two downstream tasks. They are music classification and the cover song identification. And they contain four data sites. They are MTAT, GTCN, SHS 100K, and the covers 80. Uh, firstly, we do linear evaluation experiment. The table shows the performance comparison in music classification task among many approaches, including supervised methods and self-supervised methods. All self-supervised methods are portrayed on MTAT training dataset. We then train linear classifiers based on the frozen pre-trained encoder to evaluate the test dataset of MTAT. Our method achieves the best performance on the linear evaluation protocol. 
Secondly, we conduct semi supervised learning, aiming at estimating if our learned musical representation can still perform well in the semi supervised learning classification task. We decreased the percentage of labeled training dataset of MK18 during the fine tuning stage. Specifically, we randomly sample 1% and 10% labeled data from MK18 training dataset. The empirical result proved the significance of our pre-trained music representation at a labeled date like the scenario. Thirdly, we adopt a whole GTTN dataset for pre-training the model, model and employ the MK18 training dataset to train classifiers that will evaluate the MK18 testing dataset. Besides, we fine tune encoder with the dataset from the cover cell identification domain. The encoder is pre trained on MTAD training set. The results of, the results of transfer, lear transfer learning demos, the results of transfer learning demonstrate the genera generalization of our music representation. Lastly, we conduct some ablation studies. We analyze the impact of, augment, of the augmented positive representation and the, the counterfactual negative representation generated from the positive negative mask on learning high quality music representation. Besides, we modified, we mod, modified the vital parameter ratio when creating the positive negative mask to control the proportion of the master frames in input data. This figure shows the impact of different numbers of training epochs. When training time is relatively short, the training epochs, the training epochs is a critical key influencing the final performance. With small training epochs, the gaps between different epochs decrease or disappear. So that's all of our presentation. If you are interested in our work, please refer to the original paper and feel free to contact me with emails. Thank you very much.